Okay, here we go. This should be it. This should be it. Make sure this thing's loading up. And then we're going to turn it on. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. I'm waiting for a few guys to get in here. Thanks for dealing with me while I've been troubleshooting for like the last, whatever, 20 minutes or more. Showtime is right. I haven't even, I just finished installing it this morning. I am going to switch over to full screen game right now and we're going to launch it. We'll see what the intro looks like. I saw like a couple of big people playing this today. I think Lyric was playing it this morning. It's starting the game. Come on. Hello. It says launching. Still says launching. Wow, this takes a long time. I've never seen this happen before. Don't have issues. <laughs> this would be just, okay, yeah, there it goes. You guys should see it in a second. Yes. It's here. It's finally here. It's here. Years of playing. Years of playing Frostpunk. The ins and outs. Welcome to the Utopia Builder Premium. We're thrilled you're here. What you're about to play is a chunk of Utopia Builder mode of Frostpunk 2. Please bear in mind this is a pre-release build and slice of full game which does not represent the final quality. Some gaming platform features might not work correctly. Bugs and crashes, we know. Okay, first thing, audio. You're a little loud for me. We'll take it there. Graphics looks pretty good. Take it 30%. Literally hundreds of hours. Thousands of hours, actually, in Frostpunk 2. Wow, this is cool. This looks awesome. It's got some new upgraded gear. Well, let's just go right in, right? I mean, the story's locked. Utopia build a preview. Out of the icy apocalypse into a hopeful future, lead the city, survive, grow, expand, and prosper, and build a world worth living in. This preview has been limited in scope, no story mode available. The game is work in progress. Yes, yes, yes. Playthrough is capped at 300 weeks. Oh, interesting. They do weeks instead of days. Establish a food colony, a fuel colony, establish materials in frostland territories. Utopia. Prosperity. I wonder what these are. These are like little, these look like they're not available maybe, the other ones, not available in this preview. Also, there's all these different ones, these like scenarios, I guess you can get into. So we're doing, we're going to do colonization, communities, machinists and foragers, workers and merchants, lords and thinkers, random. Well, I got to start with the first one. Windswept peaks. Shelter between mountain ranges and a small valley, this place was judged well protected from the elements with relatively easy access to key resources. Difficulty presets. I mean, it's, what? Um, should I start on an extreme? <laughs> is, that, is that too ambitious? I mean, it is, it is a beta here. Onboarding, disable tutorials not supported. Let's go. I mean, I'm going to play like each map. I will definitely come to them. 
each one of them. I have all week to play this. Um, and we're going to start kind of default. Machinists and Forgers. We'll do medium difficulty. Let's go. Press and hold middle mouse button to look around. You can perform various actions with communities by selecting the icon. So these are random facts, little tips that they're giving you. Press space to begin. Wow, the graphics look really good. A new beginning. The end of the world changes people. It changed us. Us, the forgers. Natural survivalists adapt to harsh frostland conditions. The machinists. Descendants of group that built the initial cities and maintained their machinery. We choose you as our steward to lead the city as an overpopulated looms and resources dwindle. We all dream of a better future. What it should look like, this we can't agree on. Tension stirs and radicals rear their heads. Navigating this will be your ultimate challenge. Notice this preview of Utopia Builder is capped to three weeks. Wow, the graphics are so good already. Swept peaks. Colonize the Frostland. Coal is running out. We have grown numerous over the years and waited too long to strike out. Our coal stockpiles are nearly depleted. We have to colonize the Frostland. But first, we've located some coal deposits and rough terrain around the city. We must send frost breaking crews to access them. We need more coal. Uh, okay. Let's go. Okay, so... What do you want me to do? Wow, I love the controls already. It's so smooth and like going up and down with this hill is cool. Why do you want me to click this? So what is this territory? Cross breaking? What is that? Initially, you can only build districts in a limited area. The wider terrain is covered in frost, frozen stiff ground, which is impossible to construct upon. Okay, that makes sense. To widen the buildable area, you need to use the frost breakers. Oh, they're like machines. You can send out frost breaking teams by clicking on the frost breaking button located at the bottom right of the screen, then find your way towards the edges of the building area. Click on the white tiles until indicator circles full. Frost breaking cost is fixed unless there are no more tiles to click. Wow, I'm going to have a lot to learn again. So that was in here. What else do I have? So spacebar is still pause. One, two, three is speed. Need that. Let's take a look at the graphics here. Interesting. It's a lot more. It's a lot more detailed. Um, there's definitely a lot more going on here than the initial frost bunk, right? The generator size isn't so in your face. How about rotating? Rotating seems like it's kind of the same controls here. It's pretty smooth. Overdrive. Oh, I'm getting some screen tearing. <clears throat> Okay, let's do what they said. So it's kind of interesting. The How far out can I go on the map? Wow, I can explore pretty far. It's odd how it's kind of like... Um, graphically, it's kind of interesting, this, this style. So clicking on the main generator doesn't seem to be doing anything. Clicking on these buildings don't doesn't seem to be doing anything. These are districts. So it's a central district district. Alright. Let's do what they said. Frost breaking. So if I just click on one of these, that breaks up the frost. Oh, I see. We're breaking up the frost so we can get out here to this stuff. So what are you? Iron, old way station, frozen forest. Where's my coal? So we need a coal. Shallow coal deposit. So that's where we want to head. 
Let's get there. So are they going to start going now? Uh, let's take it off pause. Oh, I'm so overwhelmed. There's so much to learn. I appreciate, um, Torsa. I, I think I'll figure it out, but if I'm really struggling, um, I'll ask, okay? Because I definitely want to, like, experience this. And part of the struggle of this game is kind of figuring it all out here. Hot keys, that'll come in really important later. Okay, so I sent out those frost breakers, right? Are they going? I don't see anyone heading out there. Oh, I didn't do it, I guess. Do I have to like click go? Why is that not? Does that do it? Teams will work with heavy equipment, breaking the ice and preparing the ground. Yeah, but how do you say go? Uh, clicking it in this game is usually enough to get you there. So if I deselect it, like it, break it. You have to fill up the circle when clicking. Oh, you gotta hold down. Well, fuck. That would have been easy. Oh, look at you. Oh. Those are cool. Interesting how the music fades, right? I can kind of hear the audio of the music. But if I move out here, it fades a little bit. So, can I just keep telling him to break more? Or do they already do it? I see. I think I selected... Let's we'll see what happens here. Okay, cool. District construction. Districts are based on your city economy. We build in a process resource to provide shelter or recruit Frostland teams. Districts have a fixed number of tiles needed to be to begin construction. When building a district, keep a lookout for an indicator circle, which shows you how many tiles you still have to click for the construction to start. Oh, so you build a whole district instead of individual buildings? You're throwing me for a huge loop here. Available tiles are white. Already selected tiles are yellow. Extraction, food, and logistics districts require deposits to be built. You need to begin selecting tiles from the deposit, which is... Okay. Can I figure you out? So... Construct buildings, construct districts. Ew. Industrial district. Thanks for streaming this, JYs. I've already played one playthrough and can't wait for full release. I think you will love this. Oh, I'm excited. Keep. I'm so excited to play this game. Okay, so industrial. But how do you know raw resource extraction can be constructed on different types? So I need an extraction district on top of the coal. Does it tell you that? I don't see any info. It just says that. Individual buildings. What do we got? Dockpile. I don't have any of these yet. So I need a district, housing districts, food district. What does an industrial district do? Production of processed goods and other materials. So I need this. Select areas to construct district. So you actually have to like... Select six areas. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm already thinking about how I'm going to do this as fast as possible. I need to stop thinking about that and just learn this game. What is that? Looming cold. As the cold problem in our city continues to worsen, we must take action to protect our citizens. In these harsh, harsh conditions, people need a roof over their heads and enough heat to warm their homes. Is a generator powerful enough to heat the city, or do we need to extract more fuel? Our current methods aren't enough. We should consider alternatives. Cold 
has risen to a concerning level. So do you have to build housing for each district? Now that I'm doing a extracting district, it requires 600 people. Oh, how many people are in the city? Does it tell you? Can I even see? I don't know. Where's my total population? Oh, here. 4,200. Okay, they've taken everything to like a way different level. So people are starving? How do I see the temperature? Cold notable. Disease minor, growing, crime minor. There's a lot of new information to take in. I gotta admit though, I think I like the UI so far. Like, I think the UI is pretty good. Buildings. Okay. Let's see what happens when this district gets finished. Shelter from cold. Good. We secured a new resource of coal for the generator, but now we need shelter. Without it, people still freeze to death regardless of how not the generator runs. The closer to the generator or other shelter, the better. We cannot afford to lose more heat than we have to. Yeah. Okay. Typical stuff. Oh, cool road all the way out there. This is as far as you can zoom in, huh? Um, we are extracting more coal than we currently need to provide adequate heat to the city. As such, we have begun to stockpile the surplus at the moment. We have ample storage space left. However, the space will eventually be filled out. Yep. We do not wish to lose surplus. We should build more deposits. Yeah. Buildings. Construction. Um... Materials, goods, fuel. This can stockpile all sorts of stuff. Where does it go? It goes here? What's going on? What are you doing? Total output 120, demand 50. Emergency shift, oh, my favorite. Half shifts make people happy. Okay. This thing finished. Can I not click on that one building? Doesn't look like it. Do you have to build more? No. And there's only one spot you could build it. Can you not? Confused. Deadly cold due to cold. Some people are have frozen to death. 77 people froze to death in the city. Uh, can I make it warmer? Yeah, it makes it warmer. Cold wave. Grief is in the air. Tension grows. People keep freezing to death until cold is brought down. How do I raise the heat temperature? Uh, what? Okay, I don't know how to read all the information yet. There's so much to take in. It's kind of cool because Frostpunk, the original, right? It's all about like just trying to establish yourself in like a new way of life this seems to be like industrious right like trying to get to the point where you can do some real stuff here uh i am just a little bit confused on what i do next construct two housing districts okay i'll follow the rules here housing districts so can they go anywhere i think we're supposed to stay close to the generator plus five heat I think these are housing districts, so I'm going to be adding to it. Generator proximity. So it's still getting heat, even though it's like not in a heat zone. Is that it? 
I'm not really sure what it just did. I feel like the graphics are a little bit, um, not quite so clear, like this. Let me see, what are the settings I have? Graphics, I'm on high. I should do ultra. Let's see what happens with that. Oh, got a little more detail. Make sure the stream is okay. If you click, it will select them for you. Yeah, everything's way different. Are these people walking around? They're like zooming. And then like, what's that? Is it like an automaton? Those look like automatons working. Okay, so there's one housing district. I gotta build another. So each housing district takes multiple... So you have to just click and hold down. And then it... Can you cancel it? Once it starts? I don't know if you can. That's kind of a bummer. For me. I make decisions like that all the time. Okay, scraping the barrel. With heat from the generator and shelter for everyone, we're safe from the cold for now. Oh, so all those people died because they didn't have a place to sleep. I missed that stat. And machinists and forgers have different opinions on how to improve the city further. We need a place to develop ideas for the future. Expanding a housing district to provide more space for advanced buildings and build a research institute. Oh man, I'm gonna have so much reading to do. Trust, stockpiling, expanding districts. Okay, so where is research? So can this go anywhere? Does it have to go to a specific spot? Where can I put you? Housing. I'm confused. Okay, just can't go anywhere. How do I put it down? Select an existing housing district and expand it. Okay, let's just follow what they're telling me to do here. Expand. This way. Build a research institute. I would like to know where. Wow. The building's kind of cool. Oh, so now that I expanded it, now I can set it down? It's either limiting me because it's trying to guide me through it, or that's a requirement. It's undetermined at this point. Research coal mines once that gets up and running. Construct a newly researched building in an extracted district. So, is it up now? Research Institute. Okay, idea tree. We need new ideas to move forward. However, different communities may propose diverging answers to the same issue. They will only pursue solutions that align with their worldview. Choosing community to develop an idea will improve your relations with that community. Well, that sounds complicated. <clears throat> Thaw mills, coal mines. So, you want me to do something over here? Dust coal mine requires an extraction district with a coal deposit. Is that what you want me to do? Develop idea for 50 what? 50 frozen coins? What are these? What is the, the commerce here? Well, let's try it. Okay, what are communities? 
People in your city form communities, groups of people united by common outlook and background. You can view any of your communities by clicking on their image on the bottom center of the screen. Under the community name, you can find information regarding your relations with specific communities. Okay, let me see that. So these are my communities, right? Machinists and foragers. Clicking on them. Shows me nothing. Just neutral. Where is this thing in terms of? has broken down and is blocking traffic. <laughs> Technicians are on their way. <laughs> Automaton has broken down and is blocking traffic. How do I start the research? Am I doing it? Research Institute. Thirteen weeks, two days left. So it's progressing. It's kind of hard to see if it's what's going on. So where can you see the progress? Is that this bar down here? Stockpiles depleted. Our initial stockpile of food have run out. Our current output Output will satisfy some of the demand, but problem will without will mount over time. We must expand our district or establish new ones to provide more supply. Otherwise, the city and us will suffer. Okay, we need more food. So, a food district. Where can you go? Anywhere? Anywhere in the white? I think I can choose where I want it to go, right? Why can't I... Where is it going to go? I'm confused. Building is not as intuitive out of the gate here. I've got to figure out why this is so weird. Why can't I build that? Where does it go? <clears throat> okay, so here it starts to struggle. The machinists want to learn on a machine powered mining, but the foragers would have us pursue a more frugal solution. Uh, show me my options. Coal mines. What is going on? How am I making a choice here? I don't... What? Okay. You have multiple options on each research? I didn't notice that. Uh, uh, how do I build the food? So I want to build a... No, I want to build a food district. Can this just go anywhere? Oh, over here. Why does it have to be here? Fertile ground for food. Oh, so now I need to break the ground to get there? I guess that's how it works. You press on tech and you choose between solution forger or machinist. So, tech. That's not tech. That's a dense housing district that has that in it. So we choose here. Where am I choosing between? I don't. I don't see. So I'm choosing adaptation. What? Boy, this is confusing. Is this the choice here? Machinist versus foragers? That must be it, right? Um, so if you like select it, that's progressing on it. So I chose this choice, right? If I switch over here, that's gonna choose this choice. What's that bar mean though? I guess that's my progress. Those are your choices. Grinding coal mine, dust coal mine. Requires an extraction district with coal deposits. 
Mining operation where residue coal dust is sucked up and compressed into briquettes to make maximum use of the resource. All right, I, okay. Operation using grinding machines to churn through coal quickly, leaving heaps of slag behind. I mean, I'll take the one that sounds like it's gonna last forever. Disease is slightly increased. Squalor, so each one of these has a specific choice of some kind that is going to be so I, the only thing that's weird here is like i feel like i don't i feel like i'm missing a confirm button so like is that did i make a choice is that now switching the choice and resetting the research that is just kind of weird i'm guessing that wait it went to zero what just happened now it's back at 15 weeks I clicked the X down here because I thought it was closing the menu. Did I just... Alright. Everyone gets frustrated by new UI at first. I'm just going to keep going here. Uh, so now I can build a food district over here. Yeah. I feel like I've lost some of the control. Frostpunk had a lot of minutia detail, right? Like where am I placing this building? How are people getting there? That seems to be out the window here. That doesn't seem to be in effect. This seems to be more of a bigger level strategy, like macro instead of micro, is the biggest thing that I'm, I'm feeling so far. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not, but I canceled the research, of course. Yeah, I feel like this is macro, and Frostpunk original is like micro. Um, like just even for example, like the, the city buildings, right? Like you don't place them individually. I'm just building whole districts. Because you're also also dealing with an order of magnitude more people. Overall forty seven hundred people. We were at like Fall of Winter Homes like five hundred people, right? Yeah, it's definitely macro strategy. Which is cool. I'm not hating on it. Colder. Heat demand is increased. So what does that mean? Do I have to control the heat? Does it do it on its own? I don't see a way to, like, set the temperature. Is it just... Are people just warm? Research the coal mine. I think that that's going, right? Research Institute idle. So I cancelled it? Oh, develop idea. You have to click that. I'm gonna go with the dust... Stoke up thing. That sounds interesting. Uh... So this is now producing 60 food. And you don't have to do anything. They just kind of do it. Yeah, everything is bigger. I love the concept so far. Like overall impression, yes, you have to figure out everything. There's a lot to learn. Um, but number one, the graphics feel cool. I really like the detail. Um, number two, I think that there's a big adjustment here for like how you build. This is not minutia detail. This is much bigger. Um, it seems like things are a little bit more taken care of. Like, oh, you want to build food? You just throw down a whole food district and you're done. Like, you don't have to manage individual workers. From that, from what I can tell, you kind of just set half shifts or emergency shifts and it takes this many people so what if you don't have enough people to open a district is that like a thing i don't know when you put down the food district for example you have to select a certain amount of hexagons you can choose which ones you want you just spam click and it will pick them at random so if i'm i'm holding down the mouse but you're saying if I were to select them specifically, you can influence how it builds out rather than what I'm doing, which is just hold down to go. I think that's what you mean. Um, what else are you mad about? Research the coal mines. Okay, so that's going construct a new building. So we're waiting for the research to finish. What's this? Tolerated. Support marginally decreased. So this is my... This is my tension. Whoa. New building proposed by foragers. So the research finished. Now I need to build it? 
dust coal mine. Does that go here? I thought it would for sure go over here. Where does it go? How, how... The building placement I'm finding frustrating. Like, oh, cool, cool, I have this thing. I would assume it goes over by the coal, but... But it doesn't? Why is it red? It's not giving me a reason. I wish it, like, I wish I would click and it would tell me. Like, must place over something. Why can't I place it? Requires an extraction district with coal deposit. That's what this is. What do you want? Oh, people are hungry. That is a nasty looking hand. I mean, I know it's freezing and shit, but like you could trim those nails for me. <laughs> Get a knife. Uh, becoming problem. Hunger has risen to a concerning level. Okay, yeah, it's normal problems. Why can't I put this coal thing down? Like, where do you where do you want to go? Construct the newly con research building in an extraction district. This is an extraction district. Why won't it work? You need a mining district for it. Isn't that what this is? It's an extraction district. It says... Requires an extraction district with a coal deposit. What? This is not a food district, is it? It's an extraction district. So where does it go? Uh, uh, what? I need a new extraction district? But why would you not... Uh, so do you demolish it and rebuild it? That seems kind of silly. Or expand it. Really? Oh, I see how that cooking works. So now can I... Oh, it's still expanding it. I confusion. Okay, now can I do it? Yes. Okay, so I had to expand it in order to build it. That was not intuitive. I didn't get that. With the new mine, we have enough coal to output to last us a while. Yet yeah, differences between communities remain. Even under previous leaders, plans have been established. Yes, yes, yes. Time has come, Stuart. People want to say how the cities run. We need a council, huh? Okay, you want a council. Okay. I can tell it goes there. Cool. What are we going to do with that? <clears throat> we can vote on new laws. First council session. People cheer as the gates of the council open. It feels like a piece of the world lost. But the frost has been re regained. The people are hopeful to have their voices heard. While the machinists and forgers clash about our survival strategy, neither has a firm stance on economic or social issues. However, many in their ranks do, though they keep to the shadows for now. To pass a law in the council, you will need the majority of delegates to support it. Oh, so I can't just throw down the iron fist anymore? People of the city send 100 delegates to represent them. Your role as steward is to propose laws that we'll put to a vote. However, communities have different outlooks on many things. You may have to negotiate pressure. Wow. Click on the council member to view their profile. Okay. I gotta get to know these people. So that's foragers, machinists, foragers. No, no, go back. Where? Where'd it go? This is gonna drive me crazy. I'm so used to clicking on the building to make actions. 
And I think I have to click down here in the main area. So I wanted to see... Machinists, machinists, forgers. How are they represented here? Okay, so half is machinists, half is foragers. I'm assuming this room actually changes as you start to do stuff. Propose a law. Survival. Economy. Let's take a look. Food additives. Oh, that's my favorite. Y'all know I love throwing some sawdust at these folks. Food output per capita is slightly increased. Disease is marginally increased. Yep. No common rules. Good production efficiently significantly increased. Nah, people are going to make some crazy ass shit. That's not what I want. Welfare labor. Wait. Survival has no common rules for goods and food additives. Economy. Oh, interesting. Society, what do you got? That sounds... I mean, I always put the kids to work. Let's do one in survival. Um, so you have to select one, and then they vote on it? Is that how it works? Oh, you can not go back. You can down here at the bottom. So if I do survival, no common rules. Oh, that means that they haven't voted on it, I guess. There are no established standards for which additives can be put in food at times of need. Okay. Let's try this one. Oh, it's like a whole voting thing. There are no established standards for which additives can be put in food in times of need. Only natural forge... Forage ingredients may be added to food. We will train people to forage for these in the frostland. I mean, that sounds better than sawdust. Oh, chemical. City will approve chemical additives with tested and tolerable risk levels. I mean, this sounds like it might get voted on. Supported by the foragers. People are divided. Well, they said food was scarce. So then how do I do it? That's what I want. How do I actually do the vote? Um, I, f I feel like I want to pick it. This is... This is confusing. The UI is leaving a lot for me to be desired out of the gate. Like, what do I... Where do I click to hit vote? It's not clear. It should be a big fat button. Fucking vote. Something. Oh, it's there in the middle? It's- oh, it's there. Man, that's like hard to see. It is a big fat button. I just missed it. You're probably all yelling at me about it. Uh, put the law into vote in the next session. Yeah, let's do that. Um, pressure delegates? Ooh. Pressure the hes hesitant delegates, which will sway them towards supporting the law. The more trusted you are, the more effective it will be. Um, you are tolerated. So people don't really love me. So... It looks like I'm going to win, right? 437 against 26. Do you just need majority here? Let's go. Let's see what happens. Forge ad additives. 37 4, 51 required. The delegates have spoken. The law takes effect. So, insert RNG, right? Like, I'm assuming that that's what just happened is that it's going to take a multitude of values, it's not going to be predictive every single time. So, get my speedruns. 
Into the future. A new halal has been agreed on. Good. There are challenges ahead. Improving coal extraction is a success, but the vein will only last so long. Gotta explore more. If we don't take it, city will have no future at all. This concludes the onboarding tasks in this preview. So you're gonna leave the rest for me to figure out? That's it? Okay, it gives me some more stuff. All right, overall, <laughs> initial impressions. I really love the fact that they're focusing on like this macro view. Frostpunk was so much detail and I think it was just as overwhelming for a new player as what I'm experiencing for someone that buys and plays Frostpunk for the very first time. Like, I can't tell you how many people I've seen play the original Frostpunk and they never open up some of the detailed views where you could see like productivity, coal consumption versus like productivity. So like there's so many layers to Frostpunk and I feel like there's going to be a lot of layers to Frostpunk too. Um, but I'm stumbling because I'm I'm not familiar with where the game's trying to guide me. But overall, out of the gate, I love this macro thing. I think this is really interesting. I kind of like the fact that I'm not having to do a bunch of minutia detail. But that was also part of the fun of when I was speed running it that, that made it kind of enjoyable because there was so much tuning you could do, like building buildings in the morning versus not and having the workers do certain things. So it'll be interesting to see where the efficiency comes in the decision making here. I assume a lot of it in this game is going to be um, anticipating what happens next. There is a temperature gauge. I just noticed that. That's cool. I don't know, overall, it's cool. Like, it's just cool so far. I, I have no major complaints other than me stumbling around trying to figure out what to do, but that happens with every single game. I was playing, what was it, RimWorld earlier this week. Um, I was waiting for this to come out, and I was stumbling like the first couple times playing that too. But then you, just, you get into it. Um, learn through failure, right? Okay. Um, establish a food colony, establish a fuel colony, establish a materials colony, explore more frostland territories. Yeah, I want to explore more. Like how far, oh, what, how much can we explore? How far can we go? How big of a city can we build? All right, so let's start some more research here. What else can I do? Survival progress? Oil extractor, worker. Okay, so there's some more extremist stuff you're gonna be able to do here. Um, hot houses is always cool. Advanced coal mines. So inside of this, there was two choices. I made one choice, already researched. Can you switch it? You can switch it. Oh, interesting. Frostpunk original, like, you could not switch things around once you made those choices. Research-wise, yeah, but, like, that's interesting. That kind of changes a lot. So, let's try a hothouse. Industrial-sized hothouses where organic waste ferments in large vats, fertilizing revolving shelves of crops. Disease is slightly increased. Actually, how many people are sick? Where's my stats here? 20 people sick. How do I improve that? Logistics, extraction, food, housing. We already have one of those. How do you... So it seems like you have to build the district and then inside of that district you can upgrade things. Um, how do I get more like medical facilities? Do I need it? I don't know. Let's just follow this. Establish a food colony. 
Um, how do you do that? So, air transport. What is that? What are you? Air transport hub. Can I just build that anywhere? Anywhere within like the general zone, seems like. What is that? I wonder what you are. Cool. I like the music. Cross Punk original was like such good music too. I don't want to break a new area. Food colony. How do you build... What's a food colony? That's not a district, right? So you're supposed to like explore and build another place that's going to create food? Notice the other tabs. You think you're stumbling. I got deposit twice to switch to easy. <laughs> you paused the construction. Um, did I? Yes, I did. Thank you. Um, heat demand is increased. 24 more people sick. Okay, what do you do? What do I do with it, though? I'm definitely stumbling a bit. I don't understand what that wants me to do. I'm assuming that it wants me to, like, colonize out here? I just don't know. A new voice. Ice Bloods. I thought we could sustain ourselves off this harsh land yet. Your bellies are filled from the foraging. Maybe now we can make the city better in other ways, too. The city where competition and rivalry is our engine. A society built on respect and tradition. Ice bloods form in support of forged act. Oh, okay. Ice bloods. 490 foragers have organized into a faction. 6% in the city. It's harsh world and only the fit to survive. We must embrace adaptive posture and resilience. So this is like a subgroup of people. They're like... I don't know. Cool. Build the logistics district in place of one of the old way stations on the city's outskirts. Um, the terminology is what's messing me up here. Like, establish a food colony is very confusing. That seems like it's a large ambition compared to a small goal here. Find a permanent source of fuel outside of the city. Build a logistic district in place of one of the old way stations on the city's outskirts. Old way stations. So, do we need to, like, break this up? Station. Old way station. So that must be ways out and in the way station. Here's another shallow coal deposit. Does ice breaking cost anything? It does. It costs heat stamps. Where are my heat stamps? 11 per week. Heat stamps are current used in the city. Original literal stamps redeemed for a fixed quantity of heat. They're now exchanged, meaning a demand is good as well as certain laws and buildings can improve heat stamp income. Oh, so there's a whole economy here too. Looks like ice blood members leaving the institute. They keep looking at my hands. Every day they come and pester me about my work. What are you doing now? Can we push the other research along? Why are you halting and drafting the law we discussed yesterday? They want to influence what we do. So it's just like tension and shit's rising. Due to hunger. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna 
115 people died. Build a logistic district here. Logistic district. No? Are they still clearing it? Help us keep you warm. <laughs> Report all leaks and damages to the nearest. I want to build this logistic district over this. But again, I'm faced with like, why is it not working? What am I doing wrong? I sent the icebreakers out there. Why can't I do it? Biggest complaint so far is not understanding why I can't do certain things like that. <sighs> I built it in terms of the old way station. Now what do I have to do? Why is it not allowing me to get there? Is that why? I like got to it with the icebreakers, but then you have to do it again when you get there. Is that it? Okay, that was why. <clears throat> okay, so they're all starving again. They'll keep starving to death. So how do we improve food? Our logistic district is ready. Okay. Ah, there's the exploration. Whiteout is coming. The wind will cause extreme cold and the clouds will blot out the sun. 80 weeks. Lack of laws for childhood. Okay. Uh, actually, how do I... Exp Valley? Safe territory. Launch expedition. Possible findings. Food. So they're heading out there? That's it, right? Oh, they're pretty quick. Okay, so that's moving. That's how that works. Got it. Uh, what else did you want? I want more fuel. Breakers. Where was that extra fuel at? Cross breaking. Why can't I get there? Okay. Tension's getting pretty crazy. So what do I have to do? I have to balance these guys, right? So the machinists want something. Make promise. Fun projects. What do you want? Sure. Okay, interesting. You not pause when you go to the map? Oh, that's a change, huh? That's true. That's actually nice. I'm, I'm really... I like that a lot. So they're all just mad about a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so where's the laws? Where do I click to pass them from here? Laws. Society. Childhood. All children must work alongside one of their relatives so that they learn and trade and continue family tradition. That seems cool. Mandatory school. Let's go for school. Let's propose that. People are divided. It's pretty close. Let's vote. So is it it's going? I got it. I assume that there's going to be some that fail. 
it's kind of hard to understand exactly how that benefits me when that goes through. Um, but I don't know. It seems like it's okay. So does this guy make it there yet? No, they're exploring it now, so it's actually moving in. But now these ice bloods, they walk around telling people what to do, what to think. So people are really not happy about the ice bloods. Technocrats have formed in opposition. Wow, this is going to be so political. When law goes through, you get the effects of the law. Gotcha. Makes sense. I'm just not sure where I visually see that. I must be in the details of some of the stuff I'm not looking at yet. Progress. Machines automated. Technology. Only path moving on survival. I'm kind of with the technocrats. I think I'm with these guys. So, originally we had just the machinists and the foragers. And now we're splitting off into sub-factions of technocrats and icebloods. Um... some more research here so I did the hothouses is it working it's it's throwing me off so much because you don't you don't need to build it you just research it so is there more food output here I don't know what the original one was so I don't know if it's growing or not sorry for the noise Is it benefiting from this law that I passed? I don't know. I just don't know. So they're still going. Can you only have one at a time? I only have one, so I can't I can't do it. Gotcha. Find a permanent source of fuel outside of the city. Well, it looks like I'm gonna find food. I feel like I'm just kind of fumbling around, like I'm not really sure which direction to go next. Definitely stumbling. Captain's authority. Can I not do this yet? Doesn't look like it. The cease will be harvested and their healthy body parts used to support city health care. Unharvested remains will be incinerated and the ashes transferred to relatives. Bodies will be buried untouched after a traditional funeral to show proper respect to the departed. Relatives must be allowed to mourn with dignity. I mean, if I could give my kidney to save my kid, I would. Oh, it looks like people like this one. Three for three. Three, four, three. Nice. The law takes okay, effect. so that went into effect. Does that mean that like people are going to be healed faster? Like, how do I look at the benefit of that in terms of percentages? Bio waste drum hothouse. I need to build it, right? So it needs to come here. Okay, so that was one research that I did research, but then you have to add it to a district. So it is somewhat similar. But I can't forget to add that stuff. 
Is there any day night change? Uh, I haven't seen a day night change so far, I don't think. This is supposed to be weeks flying by, though. I didn't notice that. There is no day or night. Is there a time of day? It does say... It's like full days here. Day two. Day three. Yeah, there's no day-night uh, cadence. Interesting. Good question. Okay, so are we producing more food now? How much more does this produce? We went from like 60 to 140. I think. Ooh, they finished exploring this. What do we find? A ration bunker. A door to a bunker glinted in the snow, revealing a massive horde of rations. Okay, so it's an outpost. Tons of food. Harvest. Did that do it? How do I do an outpost? It doesn't seem like I can. I'm just harvesting it? Shipping to the city? I don't know if I set up an outpost or it didn't. Lack of spare labor. It may be wise to seek laws or transport structures that will help get more done. I see. What else you want? The Outsiders, no common rules. Steward, it seems some of our citizens are profiteering from outsiders trying to get into the city. We caught small groups of freezing and disordering groups of people. We warned the Fed, the question spoke. The only generator there is. We've heard stories of what some of the guides do to people trying to get in. After what happened to us, the rumors seem true. Ooh. Yeah, we'll set rules. Oh, so now I got a new objective. I can't set a new rule. For five weeks. We need to keep the research moving though, right? Advanced hothouses. Let's keep the food going. Oh, this is so overwhelming. Maximize food. Natural bacteria endlessly cycle to fertilize. Who is this? Which group is that? Uh, ice bloods, machinists, foragers. What's the difference between that and this? We're experimental compounds, natural bacteria, costs a hundred. Course minus twenty five. Mine is 125. Let's try it. I guess. Um, now, can I explore more areas? Launch expedition. Why can I not do an expedition? Is it because they're over here still? Shipping to the city. So they're shipping food. And it takes this long. What does this toggle do? Oh, it turns it off. Okay, so food seems like it's going to be fine. Uh, we got to get this coal going, I guess. Oh, I don't have any more workers. How do you get more workers, though? I don't think just adding... Housing adds work. So that doesn't seem to make sense. Am I enjoying it so far? I am. Definitely overwhelmed. I didn't look at anyone else play it. I didn't look at anything. So this is a true first look at me just kind of going through the game. Definitely stumbling. Um, but as I get the entire week to play this thing, I am sure I'll be ripping through it pretty quick. I know I won't be able to help myself. I'll have to play off stream a little bit. Okay, so did that give me more workers? No, it doesn't. So I didn't really need that. It's kind of dumb. Huh. 
pubs. Can I build more of these and then send more? No, I need to find more of these. This is what I need. Um, uh, but I don't have workers for it, I guess. Well, whatever. We'll stumble our way through it. Old way station. I don't have any workers. So we gotta sign a law to get more people. Nice. The additives are working. How do I get more workers? Housing district gives you more places for people to live. Does it tell me how many people are 4350? Where's the housing? So outsiders will give me more housing, I guess. Where's my statistics? Let's go sign one of these. Um, we need this. Allow productive outsiders. Accept all. We will welcome all who wish to join. Share its benefits regardless of their ability to contribute. Allow productive outsiders. We will only let in outsiders who will contribute to the city's economy. And turn away the losers. Hmm. I'm going to accept all. We're going to be nice. What does a negotiating do? I think if it's like a 50-50, my guess is if you negotiate, you can like give up something. But this one seems like it's gonna pass, so let's just do it. I need people. Housing is to the left of food, okay. Four for four. And we kept the promise. Um, pours, heat stamp, housing. There we go. So I have 39 available. 51 foragers demand. How am I reading this? 155 available. 39 surplus. So I have no one that's currently homeless is how I read that. We have food surplus. We're filling up the stockpile. It'll be filled in 20 weeks, so I need to actually do that. Materials. Um, okay, don't know about that yet. And goods, we're not doing anything there. Generator's cool. I'm glad I fixed the whole stream thing. I don't see any drop frames or anything. It seems like it's back where it should be. City needs constant maintenance in order to keep sealed against the wind and cold. Pollution can cause disease and other issues. We need to make sure that we have enough materials to maintain the city, and we should also invest building our laws that will help us banish squalor before we start living here. Go. <clears throat> well, in true pro in, in true frost punk fashion, they just keep throwing it at you. Um, fuel depot. Let's get some more storage. I'm out of workers again. I want to get this open over here, but I don't have any more workers. How do I see people coming in? Population? I think it just jumped, right? So is that 300 people like not working? I'm down to 216. Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's increasing with people. Which is taking a bit. Sue Miller. Okay. Well, 
The kid's learning how to read. Don't give him a hard time. It's fine. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Extremely increased by material scarcity. What does that mean, though? Materials. What materials? Dust, coal. Remember to keep your heat lamp maintained. What do they want? A healthy heat lamp is a healthy body. To increase materials output, extract them from frozen forests. Oh, so I probably need to get like some some wood going and stuff, right? But I used all my workforce. Uh, so is this whole thing like a waste? It takes uh, how many people? A thousand people. So what if I just kill this off? Because I think food or heat. Uh, I want some of my old statistics back. Am I burning coal or am I not? You can shrink districts. Workforce requirement in neighboring district is decreased. So I just put that in totally wrong. I, I misused this thing. How do you dismantle? Demolish. Oh, it costs money to demolish. What is that thing? Okay, so I can allow people to get around faster, I guess. And so it allows, it allows you to not have as many workers. Let's see what this thing does. If I put it in the right place. So, can you just put it anywhere? Gotta be honest, the building placement is frustrating. Like, I, it says put in a district, so if you put near it, does that fix it? I just don't know. It looks like it has such a small area that it affects. Like, where's the effective area? Oh, good. Workers. Cool. We got a bunch of people. So if I build these in all these areas, does it really reduce the workers required? I guess it allows them to get around a little faster. Is that how I do that? In neighboring districts is increased. Is decreased. So what did this go? 900? It was 1.1k. Let's see, this one is... How many people? 600 people. So is it going to decrease? Repair. Repairs, yeah, okay. So that's the thing. You've got to repair stuff. 800. I feel like the workers just increased. No? Well, I have more people now, so... I want to get out here. So they have to break their way to it, and then I can open it up. Ice Blood suggests action. Stuart, we're struggling with squalor. A group of Ice Bloods have come forward with an idea. We should reach Moss Filtration Tower. Let's pursue it. Ice Bloods want to research the Moss Filtration Tower to solve problems with squalor. 
Um, I gotta be honest, I'm not vibing with these ice bloods. Like, fuck these guys. I think we have to tell someone to go to hell. I don't care about that. Promise to reduce the squalor problem to minor squalor use 60 weeks to do it. I'm gonna just try that. So squalor is this. And it's because of material scarcity. I still want to understand like why these guys are out here. So 21 more weeks to bring what? All the food from this area? Is that what's happening? I can't really understand how I'm benefiting from this. 70 food. It was like 51,000. Now it's... shipping it to the city that just pauses it I I feel like it's coming to the city but it's difficult to understand like how much of it is I see <clears throat> still lots to learn obviously okay so we broke that ice what do I want? I think I want to get, like, some of this wood, right? Frozen materials? Because they're really mad about materials. I don't understand the scouting system at all. I'm kind of getting it, but it's going to take a little bit. And this is going to be one of those trial by air things. Disease. So what I'm struggling with right now is just taking it all in. Like, at this moment, what am I missing? I don't know. Am I producing enough coal? The squalor is a problem, but I don't really know how to fix that. They want materials. Increased materials. So, okay, that just means that there's not enough going around? So if I build a... An industrial district? Is that going to get me raw materials? Let's see what happens. Unmet demands. Why? What just happened? Oh, this is that cold they were telling us about. It got really cold. So, do they not work when it's this cold, I guess? Repair. Oh, there's a bunch of repairs, right? I have to do that? kind of cool when it gets freezing cold. Empty building slot? What does that mean? What does that mean? How do I extract wood? Do I have to research it? No, that's a law. Uh, what? Sawmills. Oh, okay. Usable materials, massive sawmill loading, frozen wood directly into mulching machines, and separate usable materials. Yeah, yeah, foragers. I'm gonna try some different stuff here. So, I built this, I mean, this area over here, but I didn't research the sawmills, so it's not doing anything. I'm failing right now. 
I'm glad I didn't choose extreme difficulty to start. Yeah, I had to research it, huh? I'm waiting for it to finish. What happens when this gets to max? Excessive squalor. Okay, so now I have... Why can't I build it? Oh, you're confusing me, Frostpunk. What is the problem? I see the big red text that says unmet demands. But why? Is it workers? What's the problem? I don't have enough materials? Yeah, I definitely agree. I'm not researching fast enough here. But... Fuck you guys. I'm gonna just demolish that. Demolish that, and... I don't really understand why I can't build, um, this. This is frustrating. Like, what do you want? Like, how do I meet the demands? It needs materials, but I don't have any materials. I built this so I could get materials. I have no other way of getting the materials. What do I do? Need extraction division that brings materials? Is that here? Hmm. But it has, I built it right on top of wood. Frozen forest, it's right there. Did I not build it on top of it? I am so confused. It is not intuitive. Can't build that. You first... Fuck off! Go away. Go away. Just go away. I don't want to deal with you. I want to figure this out. No more pop-ups. It's an industrial district. Right? Or is it an extraction district? This outputs materials. So this is what I want. I built an industrial district, but that's not what I needed. So I need an extraction district? So I built the wrong district. That's why it was so confusing. There's no way I'm in a lower squalor either. So is this game over if I fuck that up? So now it's outputting wood? Okay. So there, we solved a little bit of an issue. No, I don't want that. Uh, I don't have enough workers. Whiteout has passed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're probably going to fail this one, but I'm curious. Hubs. Give these guys another hub. Okay. Now I don't have any other people. Now I can build a song. So, I guess we're getting on top of the material problem in a small capacity. I want to see, like, workforce available. Adjust the shifts to increase workforce. Um, promise to increase population by a thousand. You'll have 60 weeks. I think that'll happen naturally. What's this issue? Resource deposit nearly depleted. So this coal is almost gone. Oh yeah. 120,000 left. Okay, we fixed the materials. 
I have no goods. I do need some more housing. Why is this district not working? Repair. Yeah, I'm mucking it up here. Why is this district not working? Repair. I'm just breaking everything here. Squalor's still pretty rough. Diminishing? Ice Bloods begin protesting. Yeah, you guys can just go away. I want to learn the basics, guys. Just go away. Enough with the pop ups. I want to get like a few things working here. Why is it not working? Protests. All right, pause. The most frustrating part about this game so far is that it is not clear when you do something that isn't benefiting you. For example, I built that entire district on top of the, the whatever, the wood, the trees over here. Uh, so just not knowing what buildings do what. There's a steep learning curve, just like Frostpunk. Um, the laws are overwhelming. They just keep moving. Clearly, the research is really important. And, like, forgetting this is not smart. You probably want to keep this moving as much as the rest of the stuff. Um, and I'm assuming that one of the goals here is to kind of get rid of these different factions and move towards a single faction. I'm running out of heat stamps. Uh, the scouting is very confusing too. Like, I, I don't really understand what this guy is doing out here. It's not clear. <sighs> Stop it. Lack of required deposit, not enough resources. So they're done. So instead of coming home, they just sit out there? Like, what is going on with this? How do I get them home? Can I send another one out? How do I send another group out? Return to the city. Outpost depleted. How do I get them back? How do I get him home? You're screaming at me about the social and econo economy tabs and the research screen. What about these? So there's other things you can research? This is what you're trying to tell me? This is probably pretty important. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not reading chat that much. I'm trying to just play. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm missing a lot. You need free workforce to scout. Okay. They went home automatically? Requires an expanded housing district to build it. So one of the main mechanics seems like you have to research something and then you have to apply that new research to a district. It doesn't just happen automatically all the time. You have to select the building and add it to a specific district, it seems like, in order to get the benefit. Um, it makes sense. So let's get a hospital. I'm going to keep... Oh, I don't have any more money. I'm broke? Do I have 140? I think I have some.
Why can't I do it? Is there something else researching? Like, just this. These are like the simple things that drive me crazy. I have 150. Why can't I click this and click that and do this? Why? What's the problem? I don't get it. Another outcome is being researched. What's being researched? I must have selected something already. I did. Yeah, good factories. Okay. I'm just losing my mind here. You played through. We'll time out 50 weeks. Why? Oh, because you only get to 300 weeks. Okay. Well, that's cool because I pretty much sucked at this one. That was a rough start. Protests. How do you resolve protests? I don't know. Uh, we're going to focus on science. Cole's almost out, but I don't care. This thing ends in a couple weeks anyways. I really mucked this one up. Like, pretty bad. I'm sure I can build a much better city and do a lot more in 300 weeks than what I currently did. Number one, research. Gotta keep that moving way faster. Okay, so now I can do hospitals, I can do this, and I can do that. Okay. How do I resolve this? How long does this protest go for? Negotiate. I don't have any guards. So I have to negotiate? Repeal mandatory school or refuse? No. So everyone's starving because these guys are jerks. How long will they do it? I have a stockpile of food. It's running out. Will they just keep going until I do that? Or choose something that they like? Can't do anything here. Economy. Yeah, I made a bunch of decisions they don't like, so I think they're the ice bloods hate me for it. Um, everyone must aid expeditions by helping them prepare for their journeys. Sure, you know that sounds fine. Supported by the ice bloods and foragers. Everyone must volunteer their time outside of work as needed, unless they. Purchase an exemption from the city. No, we're going to do this. I want to click the negotiate thing, see what happens here. Okay. Everyone must aid expeditions by helping them prepare. Partially open to negotiate. What does that mean, though? So you have to, like... Oh, they have terms. Sure, let's do that. Or we could just fund one of their projects. Oh, so that moves it way up. Okay. So so you can kind of guarantee a vote by rigging the system. They're talking it over. The delegates have spoken. Five for the five. Law takes effect. So I still can't do anything with these guys. They are pretty mad. So you can re Reduce this. Fund the project. They want food for it, but they're monopolizing all the food. Make a promise? Oh, 
man, there's gonna be so many combinations to beat this game in terms of like pushing factions one way, laws one way, trying to get them to agree with you. Infection badge? What's that? That sounds fun. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to... Well, we only got like 40 days left in the scenario. I spent a lot of it idle. If you fail to fulfill the promise, they will refuse to negotiate again. So what did I promise them? Pass infection badge. So it's like seven weeks away. Got the hospital. Economy. What's that? What do they want? Man, I'm so overwhelmed. Pass infection badge. Where's that? Where is that, though? In survival? I wish I could click on it and it would take me there. That would be nice. It's gotta be under society? What do they want? What do they want? What do they want? Like, I wish I could just click on this and it would take me there. What is an infection badge? Where is that? Oh, I have to build the house at the hospital too. So if I expand this by one, does that allow me to place the hospital down? No? Oh, it's still expanding. Yeah, yeah, we're failing here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all over. I just want to get some... Okay, okay so I did have to expand the housing before I could put the hospital down. People are going home? I somehow disregard that. We only have 80 days left. I feel like... My next attempt on this thing is going to be a lot better. I also feel like just in like Frostpunk 1, holding down the 3x button to 3 times speed is just dangerous. Use funds projects on the foragers. So here? Funds projects. I kept it. I still want to know where that is. Where is the infection badge? What is that? It's gotta be a law, right? There it is. Contagious people will be required to wear a specific badge. That sounds fun. Let's do it. It's pretty close. Let's just go for the vote. See if we get a six out of six. I don't think people are going to vote for it. We didn't do very good. Oh, it passed. Wow. The measure passed. So we kept the promise. We only have eight days left in this playthrough. There's a lot to be considered here. Excuse me. That's the end. So that's as far as I can take it in this beta. Totally cool that they opened this up to play and to kind of get a feel for it. I'm really glad that I'm able to do this. But clearly, I don't know what I'm doing yet. There's a lot that has to be learned here. All right, I'm gonna take a break. I spent too much time just figuring out my 
streaming setup this morning. I can't run through another one, but I will. I'm gonna play this kind of all week, off and on. I'm gonna see how much further I can get, how much better I can get at it. Uh, there's a lot to be learned here. Of course, I'm gonna try and speed run the scenarios when they come out. Um, but for today, I'm not feeling so great. I'm under the weather, if you can tell, and I need to go get some food. Um, I will probably stream again another playthrough of the beta tonight, like late night. Um, I live in California, so it's like 8 or 8.30 my time is probably the earliest I can fire it up. And I'll have a little more time tonight to run through a couple of these. But overall, first look, overwhelming, just like Frostpunk 1. You need to go slow. You need to be like methodical with your choices. The faction stuff is interesting how that's going to play out. The scouting was a little bit confusing. The buildings were a little bit confusing. But I think I'm understanding it now. You need to build districts and then research buildings to add to those districts. But a lot of the districts need to be expanded before you can add a building. I need to be better about keeping pace with like how many workers I have, the food. So like getting a natural feel for like the rhythm of those things and what they are and how they're changing with the laws and stuff you make. Uh, and overall biggest mistake is I, I think you need to keep the research moving the entire time. Just... The research usually only benefits you, but it will probably cause additional strife with the factions. Um, but maybe you can keep everything kind of lower in terms of the, the stress or whatever it's called. Anyways, thank you for hanging out for a little bit. I'm glad I got to take a little bit of a look at this. I will run through it all week. I'm going to be doing this a bunch. Um, I'll record all of the ones that I can and just leave them here on YouTube. In case you want a sneak peek but thanks for hanging out um sorry for kind of the short stream but uh today wise i'll catch you on the flip side